So we've got a wonderful course that we're really excited to tell you about That's and right. collaborate on. And it's called <laughs> Fire, Foraging and Folk Tales. Check this out. Check this out. So the first weekend, we're going to give you an introduction to the nuts and bolts of storytelling. How to take a traditional folk story and make it your own, add colour, life and imagination to it. All the time drawing inspiration from the seasonal fungi, those who mycelially whisper beneath our feet. We love that term. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so this course is running over a year and although fungi, like most people think of fungi in autumn, which is why we're starting with it. Yeah, like the course, they're always available. It's just about seeing them. So like, fungi are so rich in, in, in story. Just think that that iconic red one with the white spots, the fly garrick. I mean, you probably would have been aware of this before you were even thinking about fungi and a child in all the stories that would have been um, read to you in, in picture books and, and, and things. So it's, I mean, it's there in us already, the seed mm. um, of story and, and fungi is there. Yeah. So that's going to be exciting. And it's going to continue the fungi through to our second weekend, which is our winter weekend. Um, and then obviously it's a time we think of nature sleeping. It's getting dark a time to go inward and our storytelling will reflect that and we'll look at stories of our life, stories of our past, our present and our future and how to take a story, a personal story and offer it as a gift to others to, to lift up what they might be able to connect with, what's universal to them. Yeah and so because it's winter and things have slowed down a bit we'd be really focusing on plants and plant parts and, and kind of roots and, and kind of mushrooms that are unique to that season. And, but when I think about going inward, like one thing I've, I've got for a focus here is barks and inner barks. Like, so, I mean, there's cultures around the world where actually inner barks, although it's sometimes referred to as a desperate kind of famine food, are actually a really important part mm. of, of the diet for both flavor and kind of the whole ritual around gathering. So mm. it's how do you draw like the most out of that particular plant, that ingredient. And it, that's so closely related to how we draw out like, like an inner story of, of you know, that, that, that we can go deeper into in, in the winter. Mm. So it's below the skin, bring it out to the surface, mm. getting the best out of it, both in terms of foraging and the storytelling. Mm. Yeah, so that nourishment from the food, the bark and the stories. Um, and then of course, the next weekend will be spring. And that's a different feel. Um, it's going to be very sensory. Okay, so you've got new life, new greens coming forth, really tangy, sadded leaves. And we'll look to explore those tastes, um, the textures, and we'll be inspired by that uh, as we put them into stories. We'll be looking at creation myths, but how to make them really palpable, juicy, and delicious, mm. drawing on uh, the tastes and sounds of the time. Fergus, can tell us a little bit more about what's happening at spring. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, sensory, sensual. Mm. Um, it's a time where the sap is rising, which mm. is like a metaphor for just the, the energy. But it's also, you know, it's very sexy. It's a sexy yeah. time. Sexy. So, and when, when I think about, you know, the sap rising in, in the birch tree and we'd be tapping that for that kind of inner sweetness, it's, um, it's, it, that, that, that is, in a sense, it's, it's a creation, a creation not a myth, a creation reality that's being birthed from that tree to, to nourish the, the, the leaves and the buds which will then burst forth. So it's, it's drawing on that kind of inspiration and, and the wonderful flavours that are unique to that season that are just bursting out, which are so related to creation, creation and the, and the, the stories that come from that. Yeah, so don't miss out on that one. Then final weekend of the year will be the summer weekend um, and that a time midsummer it's a time we have the light we have the warmth it's a time to go out winter's a time to come in a bit uh, and reflect summer is a time to be out there and we want to be playing so there'll be plenty of nature games songs um, and we're going to be looking at spontaneous storytelling and we'll draw on some of the characters of the season Fergus might mention a few in a minute 
Um, but using what's out there in nature to conjure these tales just like that from within us. There may be a bit of fear, a bit of threshold, but a lot of fun. Yeah, that, that summer sense of high energy and play is so reflected in the vibrancy of like the flowers that we can put in salads and things like this. But it's also the time when a lot of seed starts to be ready. So we'd be gathering seeds. And it's also when, when you really want to play with a story, you can only do that if everything that we've gathered through the course of the year has then been kind of nurtured inside and then we've created that seed. So it's also a really exciting time because it's like, it's kind of a sad time in terms of this course because it's ending, oh no. <laughs> but it's like, you're taking this seed, which the, you know, the spontaneous things that develop in your life from being on this course, from knowing how to, how to get the best from stories, the best from wild food, that's what you'll be taking away. So, you know, we'd be gathering the seed in many senses and you'll be taking away the seed. You'll be sprouting the seed, um, both in storytelling and in, in, in wild food and foraging. Yeah. Okay, so if you're not sure already, then uh, I don't know what will convince you. But just as a last thought, we will be harvesting each weekend on a Saturday evening. And that will involve the fire, the transformative element of the fire. And we'll explore different methods of lighting fire, flint and steel, possibly fire by friction with the bow drill. And there's a bounty of lessons and trials in that. But there's this sense of coming together, sharing our food, sharing our stories, and really connecting uh, with each other, body and soul. Um, and that will be a rhythm throughout these weekends. So come and join us around the storytelling fire. And well, to be honest, we just can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait. We'll see you there. See you there.